Hello everybody, Robert Rambles here and welcome to World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth. This is 2020 and with the Shadowlands expansion probably anywhere from a half a year to maybe a few more months away, a lot of people, myself included, are looking at alts and leveling up some alts getting ready for the new expansion. And to facilitate that, Blizzard has actually given us Winds of Wisdom which increases experience gain for 100%. So this video is going to be a little bit different than other videos I've done if you've been on the channel for a while. If you have, thank you for being here. If not, then welcome. So what we're going to be doing today is looking at how to quickly level through Battle for Azeroth and catch yourself up to be ready for the Shadowlands expansion. Now this isn't speed leveling by any means. Uh, it's just how I prefer to level, how I think that leveling can be both enjoyable uh, not too tedious, but also it's it's going to be quick, and there's a few things that we can do uh, to make it faster. If you have high-level characters, we're going to be using heirloom gear, so that is definitely one of the keys. Coupled with this 100% experience buff, we're going to level quite quickly, as you'll see. Uh, let's turn on a couple things here that we're going to need. That's fine. Auto loot. Action bars aren't locked. Okay, perfect. All right, and we're just going to set off. So like I said, this is going to be different than my other playthroughs. Uh, usually we have a very strong focus on the story, reading all the quests and the lore. This is going to be all about leveling uh, efficiently. The first thing that you can do, and I'm going to do so, is if you have heirloom gear, go ahead and equip it. So let's make what we can here. These can be upgraded to go up to, I believe, all the way up to level 100, and perhaps even level 110, uh, which we'll be doing once we get to that point. Alright, and then let's equip all of it. And for those of you who don't know, what that's doing is it's giving us additional experience bonuses. You can see the equip bonus in green at the bottom. Experience gain is increased by 10, increased by 10, by 5, by 10, by 10. And that's it as far as the experience bonuses go. But uh, coupled with the 100% bonus, uh, it's, actually, it's actually a lot. You can see that now we can basically take things down in a couple of ice bolts. And that's the additional power and the stats that we're getting from the heirloom gear. You're not really in any threat of even really taking any damage here in the early zones in Battle for Azeroth, which is quite different than if you have been playing Classic. So there's really no need to be cautious, if that makes sense. What brings you here? And again, you'll notice that in this playthrough I, I'm not reading the quest, so uh, we actually played through all of the Night Elf areas in our Warrior playthrough on Classic. Now the quests are a little bit different because this is after the Cataclysm. But when you're trying to level quickly in Battle for Azeroth, you're basically just going to be glancing at your quest and then going where your map tells you to go. You can see that unlike Classic, everything is marked here for you. So literally head towards the glowy things on your map. You're going to usually just be fighting something, looting it, or picking stuff up off the ground. So we're all familiar with that. Like if I wasn't sure what to do here, I would just start fighting things and then I would loot it. Look, we can hover over it and if we look at the bottom right of our screen, we can see that we need the fell moss off of these. So Classic has, our BFA has all these things built into it to make the leveling experience uh, much more expedient. 
especially if you are an experienced player. It's definitely there to help newer people, but if you are experienced, it just helps you all the more. You don't have to really think about much of anything. It becomes kind of a cathartic experience. You have group loot, so you can loot one uh, creature and it will loot everything around. Which is just huge quality of life and a huge time saver. And you can see that we're not really in danger of going through our mana at all either, so there really isn't a reason to hold back on your powerful spells or anything like that at this point. And if you wanted to not just run from quest to quest, if you wanted to just kind of chill for a minute, it's worth it. If you have heirloom gear with this experience bonus, it's worth it to kill these guys uh, when they're at level. You know, you could fight a few of them. In Battle for Azeroth, all the enemies are going to scale to whatever your level is. So we could be in this zone up to level 60 and everything would scale to be at our level and to reward experience. So you're not going to really ever out level content from expansion to expansion. And, and that helps it so that, you know, in Classic, you really have to plan your leveling route and your questing route to make sure that you don't out-level quests and make sure that the quests you're doing aren't too high of a level for you. But in BFA, it just kind of handles that for you and it, it'll level the content to where you're at. And so those of you guys who are familiar with my classic content, what you're getting right now is a glimpse at how how I leveled through most of my career in WoW, simply grabbing the quest and then kind of glancing at some of the instructions to see where we had to go. In classic, you had to read a little bit more, but it didn't mean that you read the whole quest when you were trying to level quickly. And so here in BFA, we really don't have to read the quest at all. Like I said, we can just grab... Um, grab the quest and look at your map. I don't agree with that from a storytelling or lore perspective. I think that if it's... You'd want to say that if it's your first time that you should go ahead and read all the quests, but at this point I would not advise it. The reason I say that is when the 9.0 patch comes out before Shadowlands releases, they're redoing the, the leveling... the way leveling works. So there's going to be a level squish, which means the max level is going to be level 60 once we get the 9.0 patch. And then they are introducing a new intro leveling zone for all new players. So if you are a new player or if you want that new player experience, there's going to be a zone specifically crafted for new players level to get you from level 1 to 10. Uh, that looks like it's going to be a really good experience. And from there, you just get to play through either Battle for Azeroth is where new players will go. Or you can pick an expansion. And you can level just through that expansion to get you from level 10 into level 50 and then at level 50 you start you start shadowlands content and that gets you to level 60. so i would say like don't read the quest now if you are playing to catch a character up or maybe you're playing for your first time it's going to change what you would be reading right now is story content here in the starting zones that was created for the cataclysm expansion which was 2009 or 2010 and so it's not relevant to anything that's going on in World of Warcraft today. That's, that's the problem with it. The only relevant content today is Battle for Azeroth content and Legion. I would say if, if you really wanted to fully grasp the story, reading some of the main story quest in Legion, and then reading the main story quest in Battle for Azeroth content would, would get you. But honestly, listen to this. If you are extremely interested in the story of World of Warcraft, either the lore or the history or the current plot lines, just check out Noble's channel. Uh, look up Noble on YouTube. He has a great lore channel, probably the best WoW lore channel that exists in my opinion. And you can watch an awesome video that would tell you anything you want to know about, about World of Warcraft lore. Uh, he's really good. And that would, that would definitely get you, you would learn more about the lore from his videos, unfortunately, than reading 
just hundreds of quests that are in the game. So at this point, if you want story, you're looking for that media that exists outside of the game that kind of will give you a good overview without you having to spend 500 hours playing. Which, no one's going to do that. Also, remember that other players can hit it first. As long as we tag it at all, we're going to get credit for it. So, another big quality of life thing that exists in Battle for Azeroth. Loot and sell everything still. And you sell everything. There is nothing at this level that you're going to want to keep or care about, really. Unless it's a gear upgrade. I'm sure we're going to have to work our way up. There's a, a matriarch spider back here somewhere. And I'm sure that's where we're headed. Yes, I'm going to click for a minute while I drink my tea. I told you this wasn't really a speed leveling video so much as just a video about how I level quickly. And so I am going to click these buttons while I drink my tea. Because caffeine is basically essential when you're trying to level up a character quickly. There we go. Get this, the vial. Really the best time to check out the quest if you are leveling quickly is kind of to pull them up while you're traveling. You can kind of glance at the description while you do that if you did want to read some of them. But like I said, I wouldn't waste my time at this point reading quests in Battle for Azeroth unless you are actually in the, the newer content. And even then, I would say just level through it, enjoy the aesthetics, enjoy the experience, um, and then go watch some videos on Noble's channel. We'll do some transmog by the next episode. I'll do some transmog and I'll just, I'll put us in something a little bit more normal. Maybe a little bit more mage-like and less warlock-esque. This just happens to be the heirloom gear that I have. And by its level 90, you can tell that I've had it since Mr. Pandaria. Shortly thereafter. We still have to ascend the top of the tree, though. They're not going to speed that up for us, unfortunately. I'm surprised they don't. I'm surprised they don't teleport you up there. Oh, yeah. No, we have that, too. And so also, guys, I mean... If you have it, and I don't remember how I got it or where it came from, but if you have it, everything's gonna help when you're trying to level up quickly. You can't feel bad about using these things when Blizzard is obviously giving us a path to quickly level up our alt characters. So, it's okay. I don't like how this looks or sounds, but I'm gonna deal with it because it's gonna help us out. Okay, he cast um, slow fall. Oh no, winds embrace. So basically, he cast slow fall on us. Let's see how far we can get if we. Oh, there we go. Yep. Oh, 
All right. We like to play a little game here, if you're new, that's called Spot the Thumbnail. And no, nobody actually, uh, nobody actually plays the game except me, I don't think. But I find it enjoyable. All right, we're out of here, and we're not going to go through the mountain to get there. We will grab our breadcrumb quest here on the way. That's going to take us to the inn in Dalinar. Dalinar delivery. And we're going to do some quest for a, a bad guy, basically, Zen Falhoof. Still here. He's been hanging out here since Classic, if you, if you care to know that. He's a little bit furrier looking than he was back then. He's been working on his abs. Uh, other than that, it's just the same quests that we've seen already in vanilla. <laughs> Notice how he's not interrupting our spell cast. It's very different than classic, hmm? And those of you who are watching my other content, uh, you'll know we're doing a mage playthrough in classic. So for me, this is also like an interesting comparison. I had actually taken a few days of a break because I was kind of having some internal issues with the pacing of classic and just having these internal debates to myself about... Um, about game mechanics and systems and what's preferred as a player. And I guess I got a little bit too into that uh, the past couple days. Holy, there's a ton of quests here. So we're just going to grab everything. So, you know, I have had all these conflicting thoughts Farewell. about, you know, what World of Warcraft should be for players. I've been watching a lot of Shadowlands news. And so I've just been in my own head a lot. This is a good way to get out of your head because, like I said, the pace at which you can move is, is a little faster. But yeah, basically, you get to a new town or quest hub, and you're just going to grab everything. You're going to make sure that your bags are empty. Hello. You don't have to worry about trainers or training abilities or anything, so there's really nothing else to do but grab all the quests, make sure your bags are empty. I might equip stuff once to make sure we have the transmog. Especially if I'm not sure if I have that look. Haven't played Alliance in retail, really, so... Alright, let's head up here. We are going to set our hearth as well. Good luck, friend. I am honored. Nope, nothing up here. Uh, this rewards experience. Vendor wants you to collect 10 Noble Garden chocolates. This is a obviously a holiday quest that's going on right now. It's is it Easter Tuesday now? I don't you need think it's Tuesday. Um, the spring collector wants you to get 20 shell fragments. Go with honor. I guess that stuff is is that in this area? It doesn't really even say. I'm not sure what that stuff is. Did nothing. Maybe we'll figure that out. It would just be bonus experience, which would be excellent. That's going to give us a little quest to go to Teldrassil, which we're going to wait on. What brings you here? It's nice being able to wait on quests knowing that you're not going to out-level them. I'll say that. All right, let's head out this way while killing basically all the wildlife we can along the way. I marked that just so I can keep my general direction pointed where I know I need to go while I hunt down all these animals. 
Uh, we need to do some changes here. There we go. There's a lot of players right now, honestly, at low levels in, BF in BFA. It's really exciting to see people coming on at low levels and taking advantage of the experience buff because it means that people are excited about Shadowlands. And if you love World of Warcraft, you have needed something to be excited about for a long time because there wasn't much about Battle for Azeroth to even really enjoy, if I'm being quite honest. We're going to take you out. With a Frost Nova, how embarrassing is that? We need owls? Is that what we need? Yeah, Strigid Owl, Strigid Owl Feather. We'll get some owls on the way back. Professional. Wait. Do we not? Oh, shit. I equipped this borrowed egg basket. Didn't even realize it. <laughs> I didn't know it was an equipable. I thought it was an item that would be used on another item. Was not paying attention at all. Step number 36 to power leveling quickly. Don't equip an Easter basket as your primary weapon. Here, let's take you out with Frost Nova. It's just fun. Oh, it didn't take him out. Alright, it only does two damage. How much damage does that do? Not very much. You can see that when we want to be serious, we can take them out very efficiently. Uh, ooh. And then there's something in this house over here too. Everything glows too. You're never gonna wonder in retail while what you should be clicking on or picking up. It's it's definitely gonna tell you. Uh, who are you? Oh, you're a rare. Any other time I'd be worried about this, but uh, not today. Today we're playing retail. Oh, a small pouch. That's lucky. I always know that a character is lucky if we get a, a new bag basically right away. All right. We 
could hearth back. We're not that far and we need to stop back at Zen anyway, so we're just gonna ride. If these guys dismount us, we're just gonna turn around and, and annihilate all of them. And just we'll reap the experience of it. But it doesn't look like they're gonna get us. Thanks to our uh, Bruce Wayne looking chauffeur. Another bag. Collect Falcons. Here's your dream catcher from the dresser. <laughs> Necessary wheelies. Can I assist you? Oh shit. Can I? Oh, I can. Firstly, let's get rid of the helm. Secondly, let's like equip something a little bit more befitting our current stature. Uh, but I don't have a lot of of cloth. I wonder, is it alliance specific and horde specific for the looks? Maybe I just don't have a lot of cloth, period. I don't really care for capes. Honestly, that's not going to matter. Uh, let's get rid of the shoulders. Yeah, I just don't have a lot of awesome cloth, I guess. We're going to look very basic, which I feel like is okay. Not really digging. There we go. Could just go classic. For a little while. Robes of Aragal. Never a bad choice. Let's go with that. When you're trying to level quickly, don't waste time worrying about your appearance. We don't have the gold. Shit. We need three gold? What do we have? Guys, we have no gold. Alright, we're not doing any of that right now. I have to send myself some gold or something. I knew it was too good to be true, but at least we got that helmet off. We can actually uh, see what we look like. Alright. Um, where are you? It's cool when there's a giant flying mount in your face. Welcome to retail. <laughs> Somewhere there's a quest giver. Here he is. She. Oh, we hit level 10. Uh, guys, we're gonna go arcane. Because we're a night elf mage, we're obviously gonna go arcane. Manipulates arcane magic, destroying enemies with overwhelming power. Let's do it. I'm so glad we still get to keep Frost Nova though, that's great. Uh, arcade Blast and Arcade Barrage is what we start with. Blast the target with energy, dealing 41 arcane damage. Each arcane charge increases damage by 60% and mana cost by 100%. That's going to get expensive. Arcade Barrage launches bolts of arcane energy at the enemy target, causing 59 arcane damage. For each arcane charge, deals 30% additional damage. Okay, so they kind of work together-ish. All right, what do we need right here in this area? Falcons. Falcons, but also we need to head back. And we need to kill some mystics and get Talankai's jewel. But also, eventually, Falcons. And they're only in this area. Apparently. I see one. Oh, okay, yeah, we can do this. Let's check this out.
I'm building up a resource down here. I've never played Arcane before. I've never... S oh, I've never seen any of this. So this is actually pretty true to a new player's experience. Um, the last time... You know, I, I have a mage that is max level. He's a Nightborn, but he's been Frost. And he didn't get any play because it was between him or my Hunter when I started BFA and I went with the Hunter. So the mage just kind of sat on the shelf. I think he's deleted right now. I don't know where he's at. But uh, definitely never been arcane before. Maybe ever. So that's pretty interesting. Um, I guess we are just going to keep heading out towards the village. We'll probably find one of those cones on the way back. Arcane Missiles at level 12. Alright. It looks like players are just tearing through here, but the respawn rate should be pretty good. Man, we don't even need to stack. Okay, the good thing is, okay, they stack on us and not on the enemy, so we can save them up. I wonder how long it takes before they start depleting on their own. That was cool. Uh, we're not in the right area for these guys, actually. Need to head a little bit further back for the Mystics. You're not a Mystic either, but we'll take you out. Just the same. Oh, I like how that looks, how it separates and starts to swirl. Oh, that is cool. Let's see it again. Nice. I feel like Arcane has always been like slightly underplayed. You'd think like an Arcane Mage is pretty iconic. Arcane is like the raw power of magic. That's what I like about it. I think for a Night Elf to use Arcane Magic is uh, actually really cool. For a long time, Night Elves couldn't even be mages. And I don't think it was physical limitation. I think it was like personal belief of the culture, right? They didn't want to draw on arcane magics because of things that had happened to them in the past and how they'd been corrupted. Hmm. I need to watch some of Noble's channel. At some point, we must have taken out the name. Oh, yeah, I did not even notice we took that guy out, so... It's interesting. Oh, here he is. Alright, I, I guess now the, the easiest thing for us to do would just be to hearth back, right? Our hearth, um, that's on a shorter cooldown, so we have a 30 minute cooldown instead of an hour cooldown that we have in Classic. Don't hesitate to use it. Should probably find this last fell cone since like, they could be anywhere right here. We're bound to find one. You'd think. Oh, here's one. Oh, we got both of them. Whoops. One of you will use as a builder, and the other we will spend on. That worked.
All right. Very popular today, apparently. Slash by popular, I mean apparently this phone number got put into some system somewhere. We don't, we don't really live in times where I can afford to totally turn my phone off, unfortunately. Alright, let's get this turned in over here. That's probably not going to quite get us to level 12, I wouldn't think. Don't touch me. Uh, I didn't plan on it. Oh, it did! Holy crap! Alright, level 12. We've got our arcane missiles. Launches fire... Launches five waves of arcane missiles at the enemy over 2.4 seconds, causing a total of 205 arcane damage. Uh, yeah, very iconic ability. And it looks like a couple more quests opened up here. Uh, we're going to grab these. It seems like you're always grabbing a lot of quests, but it tracks them so efficiently for you and points you right to them that it really doesn't matter. Uh, we are going to take a little bit of a break here, so let's see what is our played time right now. Uh, we are at 38 minutes played and we are level 12, so I think that's pretty damn good. We will start off right here when we come back. If you do log out while you're leveling quickly, uh, do it at an inn. You're going to want that rested experience. It's going to stack on top of anything else that you have for experience buffs, so yeah. And thank you guys so much for joining me today. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I know this is different than anything we've done on the channel before. And hopefully I'll see you all again real soon. Bye now.